Hello everybody, welcome to the final video of the day. Uh, schedule's all over the place, uh, things happen, life things happen. Uh, so I wanted to get this video out sooner, but it's out now. And we're talking about champions that are going to be good for the upcoming meta. So currently in game, you can find that you can test out against uh, the, uh, the meta. I'm not sure if you specifically can go up against the... Uh, Gladiator Circuit meta. It's definitely the Victory Track meta, which is important for this. But we're also going to be talking about the Victory Track side of things, and of, of course, like what Ecro Power Snack Drip Feed all play into, as to um, you know what is the, what are the best champions. Okay, so let's break this down a, a little bit. Science attackers gain immunity to nullify whenever nullify or poison fails to apply. To the attacker due to immunity they gain a fury passive so you want to aim to get a fury passive now how do you get a buff to be nullified in order to get said fury passive well luckily as part of the ability set of the nut of the, the buffs uh, there is drip feed drip feed placebo the attacker gains a six second placebo buff every 10 seconds but Whenever the attacker, as part of power snack, triggers a buff, the placebo buff, you'll nullify it. So that's your process to do it. I've put in my notes a bit of a full warning, and I've broken this down to this. You want to use hopefully, I've used, yeah, use hopefully, use. <laughs> use hopefully science champions a lot in this meta, as they will either be buff immune, Getting them triggering the placebo buff to the Fury passive smoothly. Alternatively, science champions trigger it naturally through the dro drop feed. Oh, drip feed, Richard. Come on, Richard. Drip feed, buff, and power snack. There is a warning with that one. When triggering a power snack, fair warning on the building of power for the enemy as Destroyer, Dragoman, and Mephisto could be trickier defenders uh, to attack. There are going to be a whole plethora of champions you'll likely go up against. Not just Mystics, but Mystics play a part in this. We'll come back to that um, in a uh, minute. Do actually Mystics play a part in this? I guess they can be quite annoying. Because they will uh, be dealing with stuff. But there'll be just general defensive options that are frustrating uh, as well. Okay. I thought Mystics were part of this. It doesn't actually read that they are, but I thought they were very much part of this. Anyway, there are frustrating options and annoying options and stuff like that. I've put general defensive options, which, of course, if you're going up against... You can't, the thing is, you can't use science for everything, and your general nukers will end up coming into effect uh, against this. But definitely against this, this uh, victory track climbing, you're going to be still interested in using stuff that are your nullify immune champions, nullify immune, uh, nullify immune options, but of course the science champions. Science champions, fury passives, a lot more damage, very short space of time, going to be great. And there's plenty of them to go around. Some of my favorite champions are science champions. And here's a good example. Hulk, Spider-Man, Human Torch, Captain America Infinity War is a bit of a debatable one. I think I ranked that up for something in particular. Now I don't need them anymore. Overseer Titania Photon. Quicksilver Spider-Man. Scorpion. Morbius. Spot. Sandman's pretty good. Thing's pretty good. Abomination will be really handy against this meta. I actually think that could be a standout champion. Luke Cage. Uh, Immortal Hulk. Joe Fixer. She-Hulk. Red Guardian. I've got to rank up Red Guardian. I've got to rank up a lot of champions. Red Hulk. There are going to be a lot of champions which will be good for science. But also getting those Fury buffs. which are th Fury passives. Uh, which are the main thing with you doing extra damage. But of course it doesn't always play out like that. And picking the more difficult defensive options will be the frustrating ones to uh, to note. So... If you are thinking to yourself, okay, I'm going to field myself a skill-based champion, then you're not going to take a science champion. That's where you, you kind of go, okay, 
who could be really annoying skill-based champions to put a, in down in that? And it's like you'll put Bullseyes, uh, you'll put your uh, Nick Furies, you'll put your Mantises, your Kingpins, Baron Zemos. That is when it could trip up anybody that's attacking you, in theory. But again, we've got to go back to the uh, to the meta being pitched on the victory track side of things to kind of get that uh, you know correct opinion on the notes. Science attack is gain immunity to nullify whenever a nullify passive a player to apply it. Blah blah blah. Fury passive eighty percent uh, six seconds when a defender triggers a buff it is immediately nullified and the defender gains fifty percent bar of power. So. Are you going to be using science champions all the time? No, because there'll be specific counters that we've just covered that will eliminate that particular interaction. That, I think, will be the stumbling block and may even resort players back to their usual counters where they're like, here is uh, here is going to be someone fields bullseye. Um, where's bullseye in my list? There it, there's bullseye. And who do you attack with? Well, I'm going to attack with Storm. Okay. Uh, somebody's fielding, I don't know, uh, Serpent. There's... Why is Serpent on my list? It's on the GC. I need to update this on the... When you see it on the, the link, it will be a little bit different because I've added Serpent to it. Uh, but say I've added Serpent. It's on the, it's on the GC attack and defense list. It's uh, It's gone. I put him on. He's there. Okay, he's there. Um, if I'm staring at, staring at him, uh, he's there. Okay. So who am I going to use in? Um, I'm going to use America Chavez, for example, as a counter. So there's going to be always this. You don't have to follow the uh, the scheme of the meta because it might not be relevant to the interaction because it'd be like, well, I need to use science. Can't use science here. Use the correct counter because it doesn't work out. Just try what you think is some of the better options there. Also, Gladiator Circuit's a bit of a weird one. We're going to end the video on Gladiator Circuit. As this has, while suffering from a damaging overtime effect, it deals energy damage. The defender gains 90% of uh, energy resistance. Um, if so facto, don't use Shock and Incinerate, which I think are energy-based, and any kind of energy damage-based champion uh, that does stuff like that with damaging debuffs. Also, every time the... Re the uh, time a regenerative buff or passive is activated, the defender is not under a heal block effect. They gain a dormant vigor charge. Once the defender receives 10 vigor charges, they become uh, passively unblockable. So you want to make sure you're heal blocking, or you've got to make sure that uh, you don't get hit in a block. If you get hit in a block, 250% regeneration. Not great, okay? There are some ways around it, but, 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 I mean, look, Mr. Sinister as a defensive option is going to be an absolute nightmare. And I have actually, whilst I'm recording this video, uh, got to like put him into a uh, other side because of he is just going to be an absolute nightmare. The same way that maybe Green Goblin and several others that re, oh God, I just remembered now. Uh, Got to put Hulkling there. That's going to be tricky. Uh, that's going to be annoying. And 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 the counters for that are very slim because you may want to go heal block route. Petrify is going to be an interesting one because I don't know if you can actually use it in this regard. So take that with a pinch of salt when it comes to GC. But I'm an Infinity War, Lady Death Strike, Vision Art, uh, Vision Art, uh, Death as Vision, and Awaken Penny Parker. That may be a bit iffy. Mysterio maybe is an iffy one. Vivision, Yondu, iffy, Hulk Ragnarok. Silver Centurion, yeah, okay. Howard the Duck, yeah, okay, right, fine. Uh, and also Nukas may not be the greatest options here. They may work, they may not. The biggest thing from the Gladiator Circuit section and Sector is don't get hit in your block. Don't trigger regen, and if there's regen champions that are on the enemy's team, oh, okay, good luck. You're going to have to use um, heal blockers. There are also heal block immune champions, uh, like Saint Serpent is, Lady Deathstrike is. 
Yeah. General annoying ones, projectile based ones. Champions that throw special attacks when you've got to go into a block are going to be frustrating because you will, if you're not very good, if you can't, like, decks like MSD, you are going to take a lot of damage, but you're going to regen the enemy, and that ain't great. That's the, probably the main thing, is regen, not taking the damage, regening the enemy, which puts you back to square one, and isn't very good for the fight dynamic, so you will need those hill blockers, or you're going to have to be very lucky with your defensive-based options uh, for Gladiator Circuit uh, when you get around to it. But anyway, uh, that's been it for the video. Those are some options. Links are in the description. Support the channel by hitting the like button and, you know, watching content. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye for now. Oh, and check out some other content located on screen. Support the channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.